Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Well, this is the latest Linux Lite. This is a release candidate. Linux Lite was and is designed uh, primarily for beginners coming from Windows to the world of Linux. Linux Lite has been around a while, maybe not quite, uh, almost 10 years, maybe not quite. I, th I think uh, they started the project in 2012. So let's take a look at this, the default desktop here. As usual, I installed Simple Screen Recorder. This will be another one. What you see is what you get, running this off the live USB, no editing. All right, so when you first boot this up, you get a very nice welcome screen to get you started. Very good. Let's go, let's go ahead and close that. I did install NeoFetch for a little bit more information. So we have Linux Lite 5.0, kernel 54025. Of course, the XFCE desktop environment and the window manager, of course, uh, it looks like XFWM4. One thing about Ubuntu-based systems and the terminal, if you wanted to install something in the terminal or launch something and it's not there, for example, I typed in NeoFetch and it says command NeoFetch not found but can be installed with and it tells you how to run the command. Great for newbies, so well done. Well done. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this again. XFCE, if you messed with XFCE before, no surprises here. Highly customizable. Right click. I always like to um, launch the applications from here with my mouse. So we'll take a look at this real quick. All right, settings, the usual, a whole bunch. It looks like some customized uh, tweaks here. Light software, light sounds, light sources, system report, light tweaks. Let's take a look at that real quick. Um, select the task you wish to perform, then click the begin button. Okay, so they they have I guess sorted these out for you. Safe, safe to perform, no harm, no harm can be done. Caution, proceed with caution involves altering the system files. Thank you. That actually is very helpful. Uh, so for example, boot fix. This they graded this a caution. Clear memory is safe. Default web browser is safe. Wow, nice. Well done. Okay, let's quit that. Let's go back. All right, so let's see here. Light info, light network shares, light sounds. Okay, so I think you get the picture here. Uh, nicely done. A whole slew. Wow, a whole slew of settings here. I do like, by the way, I like the use of the default colors. White on black and fonts. Very easy on the eyes, and I usually wear contact lenses, sometimes glasses. So well done as far as that goes. Accessories. Okay, graphics. The GIMP. Very good. Internet. Uh, Thunderbird Mail I use quite a bit. Again, I would use Chrome. For me, Chrome runs faster in Linux. I'm not sure why. I did install Simple Screen Recorder. And we have, this is the uh, XF Burn. Very nice, easy to use XF uh, CD Burn if you're still into burning CDs. Okay, Office. Okay. Uh, let's see here. System. And let's go to... Um, Task Manager, memory usage about 7%, okay, lightweight, and let's keep going here, and logouts. All right, one panel here at the bottom, of course, XFCE, highly customizable. We can add little applets, new applications, as you see here. Oh, let's see, let's see, uh, we can add, taking a screenshot, and you can see right here at the bottom, to take a screenshot. Very good, we'll just do cancel. All right, time and date, and the usual here. Very good. I do like the integration of the video player, VLC. Nice, it's a nice touch. You have two screens here workspaces and of course my simple screen recorder all right we have the usual shortcuts here and let's go to user files okay nothing unusual here again this is very easy on the eyes in my opinion the control panel personal hardware system and other and let's see if anything catches my eyes here preferred applications Internet, web browser, again, I would probably go with Chrome, utilities, the Thunar, okay, simple there. Trash, help manual, and it's reading my other drive here. 
my Windows drive, but um, click this PC and some more information here on my drives. Okay, simple enough. Just out of curiosity, what other wallpaper do we have? Let's get something more cheerful. Um, uh, aha! Oh man, I love strawberries. Strawberry feels... Okay, never mind. Okay. Alright, a help manual. Shortcut. If you are new to all this, probably would not hurt to access this. Whoa, that is big fonts. Uh, but... Simple enough. I like it. Okay. Okay, the launcher. This is the whisker menu. Again, nothing unusual here. Favorites, recently used, which would be, of course, simple screen recorder, all applications, and some more shortcuts here. We can drag this and make this big or small as you want. And it looks like a search tab here. So if we type in VL. C. Okay. We could do volume control, run VLC, and so on. But, um, I mean, this is one of those just being simply simple, I guess, is, is the best way to describe this. And this is how it was designed. So, yeah, I, I give this a high recommendation for a newbie if you wanted to try something like this. Again, nothing really fancy here, just keeping it simple. And it seems to work um, pretty good. So, yeah, check out the latest release candidate from Linux Lite. This is Linux Lite 5.0. Uh, I think you like it. I I definitely like uh, what I see. Nice use again. Nice use of the default colors and fonts. Very easy on the eyes. And of course, you can change that. Linux is highly customizable. If you don't like this, but yeah, I could definitely recommend this to a to anybody to a Windows user. Well, that's all I have for this one. If I missed anything, please let me know. Um, finally, I would love to bring back the live shows. I'm stuck at home like a lot of people are. If you would like to sponsor a live show or a video, just send me an email at totalostoday1 at gmail.com.